I'll have two and six. It's even more stylish than that. Work good. I worked with the color. Color? I like it.
והיה עקב תשמון עם המצוות הקלות שאדם דש בעקבותיו
um, as quick as you'll let me. Um, <laughs> yesterday when I read Torah, the last line Torah, 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 It is not by bread alone that man shall live. This is a phrase that's common to all of us. Um, one of the commentators, the Ibn Ezra, asks, what is this lechem, what is this bread? And he says that we shouldn't live by it alone because it is tadir. It is something that is habitual, that we come used to, that we just, it's sort of there every day in our lives. And it's <laughs>
<laughs> what we did was we took a part of the, the traditional ketubah that says that the husband will provide and sustain the wife, and we switched the language and, and added a section underneath that obligates me to do the same. So my, uh, and my more than friends, Graham Brethner and Susan Holdman, my husband,
guys. Me and Paul are finally here. Take a second. Under the chuppah. Pretty unreal. You're surrounded by all these people that really love you. You've traveled with all the different parts of your lives. You're just here creating a holy moment and a holy space. And I know that uh, there are a couple people who've traveled with you in your lives who couldn't be here, and I just want to take a moment to to invoke their presence, especially Mimi's dad, or Abba Meir. Thank you. 
שטר כתוב את הדברים, מבין ידו ותרסף את הדברים, ואפילו מגבים את דרכת הפאי בחיי, בתת חיי, מן יום הדנאנו לעולם. ואחראית שטר כתובת הדור, מדין ידין, ותוסף את הדור, כביר על פתיל חי, חנן דינן, חנן דינן, וחומר, כל שטר 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 כתובות, ותוסף את הכתובות, דאגים לבנות ישראל, עשים כתיקון חכמינו, זכרונם לברכה, ולא כאסמכת ולא כתורסי דשתור וכניין. כל הרב מירים, בת מירה, בעלי מירות, בבחירת, על כל מה זה כתוב ברת לאל, במונה דה הכשר. נאום יעקב בן אהרון שפילמן אוי אי, נאום אלחנן בן שלום קסטר אי. ושרה רבקה בת ברוך ולינדה.
starting something new and creating something new, primarily a life and home together. And the the peace of the covenant, and I think that marriage and coming into marriage in a way that's holy is a covenantal nature to your relationships together. And for the last couple of weeks I was thinking about what is covenant between people. And I was thinking about one, a shared history. And I know that you guys have the last five and a half years of the whole gamut of emotions, the whole gamut of life's expressions shared together from simply going to cafes and listening to Paul play piano and reading books to incredible moments of joy, of growth, of powerful Torah learning together and apart, times apart, times of frustration, times of sorrow have all become times of growth. And really there's a certain closing of a circle here of a major part of both of your lives, which is really, really powerful. And then I think about the gifts that you both have and you both bring to your relationship. One of the most amazing gifts that both of you have, and it's both very different and unique how you do it, is that you both know how to find beauty in everything in life, in every moment. You're able to see the beauty, take the moment to have the beauty, and to honor it. And I don't know how many of us are able to do that. And the kind of joy and love that you share with us by bringing that into the universe has been one of the most powerful teachings to me. And also, I don't know two people who are as tender and caring, who have taught me and I know taught so many of all of us out here what being menschlichkeit means and especially what being tender and being caring really means. Generally, as a kahal, we're usually here to a witness the event of the marriage and to the it and to tell others about it and also to the Samer Khatan Bakala and to bring joy to the bride and groom. But something I'd like to do also is just for a moment all of us to direct the love and care that I know we've all received from both Paul and Mimi back to them to just take a second to feel from our hearts and to bring from our hearts to them some of the love and some of the caring that they've given to us, to quietly think for a moment about those experiences and memories we have of the love and care and joy that we've shared with them. So let's just take a second. You know that, that they often think of themselves as Mimi calling Paul when she put the ring on him, Yadi Rafshi, the beloved of my soul. Well, both of you are the beloved of, of many, many souls. And the two of you coming together in a holy relationship, I think, is just incredible. Um, and I think about it, we find we find rest in those we love. We provide a resting place in ourselves for those who love us. Your love is the building and the inner place of repose for one another. And your home and your lives, I'm sure, will be a place that pours out light to the community and to the universe. And I found a small quote from the Zohar that says that when a man and a woman get married, and after the marriage begin building a home together, the Shekhinah dwells with them. And I hope and pray that the Shekhinah will dwell with you. And I know it will. Hold on one sec, I have one other piece that I wrote for you. That the Shekhinah will dwell within your home, within your marriage, within your lives that you're both incredibly loving, special, and really holy people. And I know I love you very much, and I'm sure 
many other people here also do. I'd like to uh, invite up the people who are going to be doing the seven blessings, the Shabbat Prophet.
you want me to get this part too? I'll tell you later.
Bobby's apartment. It was wonderful. Oh, Yay! We love you both. And there's Michal and Adira oh, on the couch. No. Oh, sweet. And here is Yechiel Bressler. Wait, wait, wait. Yechiel Bressler has a lifted, and Yechiel Bressler wants to show us all how he removes, surgically removes his tooth from his mouth. It's oh, the tissue. There's the tissue. There it is. Okay. Now, now that he has a sterilized tissue, he's going to insert it into the crevice of his mouth and pull out his tooth. This is such a treat after the wedding video to have a picture of Yukio pulling out his tooth. <laughs> Is it loose enough? Here, let's just zoom right in here. <laughs> this is almost as good as a press. <laughs> I'm 
it may not be loose enough. Mommy! Oh, there's a deer crying. It's definitely loose enough? Oh, come here, come here! Oh, Paul, oh, we'll try next time. Maybe at the next wedding, okay? Bye-bye, Yechiel.